Today I'm going to show you how to eat more than 30 plants a day meal prep style. The largest published study to date of the human gut found that people who regularly ate more than 30 different types of plant foods, so fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts and seeds, had a significantly more diverse microbiome than those eating 10 or fewer. By planning to eat 30 plants a day, for sure we are reaching this goal. First up is breakfast, which is a berry smoothie. To meal prep my smoothies, I like to take a silicon bag like this one and then fill it up with a mixed berries bag. So this is frozen blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and boysenberries. I also add a cube of frozen spinach to each smoothie. I like to make sure I'm getting enough protein, so I add a scoop of protein powder to each smoothie. And then when it's time to make the smoothie in the mornings, I simply pour the contents of this bag into the blender along with some soy milk. Then for lunch, it's great to get in the habit of having a large salad like this one. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pickle cabbage. This is a great meal prep recipe because it lasts in your fridge for up to two to three weeks. First, slice the cabbage and add sugar and salt, as well as vinegar and water. So one to one ratio, of vinegar to water is right here. Here I'm using red wine vinegar and just regular white vinegar because I ran out of the red wine vinegar. But you can use any type of vinegar, it doesn't matter. Make sure the cabbage is fully submerged before covering with a cloth and we're gonna return to this later. Now we're gonna meal prep the veg. I like to take kale and chop it really finely and then add it to a jar like this one. A pro tip is to add a paper towel which will make it stay fresh for longer. We're gonna do the same thing for the lettuce as well. I like to chop my lettuce and kale really finely because not only does it taste better in the salad but it also makes that I'm gonna eat more. The same thing goes for the cucumber. I like to slice my cucumber really small and then add it to a container. Next, we're gonna prepare the coriander. By doing this, it reduces time it takes to make the salad on the day. I also like to pre-cut the tofu and then also season it with some mixed herbs and salt. And then on the day that I'm making the salad, I simply just add this to the air fryer for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna make mixed grains in the rice cooker. This is as easy as adding quinoa, rice, mixed herb and a bit of salt to the rice cooker the water and then just pressing on whilst we're doing the rest of the meal prep. Once this is cooked, I then like to add two tablespoons of chia seeds just to increase that count of plants even more. Store in individual serving containers for easy use throughout the week. Now we're gonna bake some sweet potatoes. So first you're gonna peel and cut the potatoes into small pieces for the same reason as the salad. And then we're gonna season it with olive oil, salt, and my favorite seasoning at the moment, fennel seeds. Pop that in the oven for 35 minutes on 180 degrees. Store in a container in the fridge, ready to use for any salads. The pickled cabbage will now be ready to store in the jars. So squish it into the jars and make sure to fully submerge with the water from the bowl as well. Sprinkle some sunflower seeds or any nut that you choose on top of the salad as well. And here here I'm adding a dressing that I meal prepped earlier as well. The salad dressing is simply soy milk, nutritional yeast and miso paste. And now we're on to my most favourite thing of the week, my Ninja Creamy. But don't worry if you don't have a Ninja Creamy, you can simply just eat the fruit or make a smoothie instead. So the Ninja Creamy recipe here is mango, soy milk, some xanthia gum, which you obviously don't need in your smoothie if you're not making a Ninja Creamy, as well as a whole heap of protein powder. Because again, I like to make sure I'm getting enough protein. I then top the Ninja Creamy with some cashews, macadamias, and some desiccated coconut. Again, you can just enjoy a trail mix instead if you don't have a ninja cream. And then the last meal of the day is this delicious pumpkin soup that I've served with some coriander and edamame, which is perfect for meal prep. This is my anti-inflammatory pumpkin soup, which is made with ginger, lemongrass, and turmeric. And then I naturally sweeten it with apple. I'm not gonna share the recipe here in this video, but what I will do is link it below. Now you don't have to prepare all these recipes in one go, but you can easily see how you can prepare one meal that can last you for the next couple of days. By meal prepping by ingredient, you can also easily mix and match. For example, here I'm using my grain mix, my air fried chickpeas and my pumpkin soup to create a unique and new dinner meal. The air fried chickpeas are from the week before in my fridge which you can find in episode 1 and episode 2 of my weekly meal prep. I absolutely love seeing your comments so make sure you comment below, ask me if you want me to make anything in particular and as always please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks and see you again next week.